Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we've got another super duper quick and throw this together in no time at all dessert recipe. Karen Doster is back from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. And can you tell I'm a little bit excited about this recipe? Yes, I can see you are, <laughs> and it's delicious too. It's well worth it. Ooh, <laughs> chocolate mousse. Chocolate yes. mousse sounds like one of those kind of frou frou, fancy things. In fact, a lot of restaurants don't even serve it anymore, and it's just such a wonderful treat. Um, and you can't, it's just rich, there's nothing like it. Um, uh, and you can make it at home very, very simply. This, mm -hmm. this recipe has four ingredients, that's right, all? Right, four ingredients. It's a little bit different than your typical chocolate mousse, but it tastes very similar. And so that's why it makes it, you know, a real easy one that you can do at home. Oh, well, I love making it. Making custard yeah. or anything like that. Sure. So what we're going to do, and of course the featured uh, a dairy product in here, we're actually using chocolate milk. Oh, okay. okay that's kind of nice. Yum. And some um, whipped cream that also goes into it. Ooh. So we're going to start with our pan here. Okay. And we're going to start with three cups of mini marshmallows and that really adds a wonderful texture to this whole mousse. Okay? Interesting. I never thought about putting little mini marshmallows mini into marshmallows. it. Okay. And then we're going to add three quarter cup of uh, some semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips and okay. one cup of chocolate milk. This is easy. Right. And you want to uh, stir that constantly because you don't want anything to burn okay. until it um, all melts together. Okay, I'll okay. work on that. So that's the first three ingredients. And then I'm going to take a half a cup of whipping cream and whip that up. Okay. And that's going to go in at the yep. end. We've got our so wonderful lamers. I, I'm going to take cream. Um, my beaters here. As I mentioned before, when you're whipping cream, it's always great to have cold cream, mm -hmm. cold beaters, cold pan, and um, makes it a lot uh, fluffier and easier to whip. Now, if you're making this ahead of time for maybe a party or mm -hmm. a get together, is this a good, you know, is the definite, it needs to set up, right? Uh, yes, it does. You refrigerate it for a few hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's Could you done. do it up to like a day or two in advance? Absolutely. Okay. I did. All right. Perfect. <laughs> so, good perfect. Good to know. You know, some desserts are, you, you really are a little bit fussy and you really can't make them too much ahead. So, I, I, mousse is great. Love that. All right. Hopefully, we'll get this. So we're going to whip that to kind of stiff peaks. Is Anything nice in it or just straight up? Just straight up. Okay. Mm -hmm. so this is going to be enough sweet enough. Is this as fast as yours goes? Yep. Okay. That's okay. So We've got sure. some time. All right. So tell us about some of the other recipes on this. Uh, uh, yes, summer. on the Dairy Days of Summer. Yes. There's all everything from desserts to entrees to salads to side dishes. Uh, there's also some strawberry uh, muffins in there that Ooh. are really good. Uh, using some of the summer fruit, there's a, a fontina and melon uh, and grapefruit salad. Uh, there's good too. Uh, yeah, uh, all kinds of uh, you know ice cream treats. There's some pops that are made with raspberries and uh, yogurt that you freeze. Really? Yeah. So, that's nice. Yeah. Lots of great ones. And again, that's uh, Dairy Days of Summer. You could actually go to DairyDaysOfSummer.com. That's okay. where the uh, collection is. But there's also a link to it on our website, EatWisconsinTeas.com, and you can click there and find all okay. the recipes. Okay, super. This is just starting. You can yeah, you want to get it all melted. And actually, once you melt it, Amy, um, you're going to set it aside to cool. And okay. I do have some cool on the side there. How is about right there? You, you actually have a couple more minutes. You can actually get it a little yeah, bit. Maybe a little bit more. Soft peaks, I would yep. say, is probably the best. I know chocolate mousse has always been one of my favorites. My daughter, this, she just dies when she's You know, she like this. I said, I think it's one of those things that's so special because not a lot of places serve it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it used to be one of those things when you go to a fancy restaurant, you might see chocolate mousse on the menu. I never see it. I rarely see it. So it is such a treat. Now, toward the end, this is really starting to smell chocolatey. And it's kind of starting to bubble up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. This and is this is what here. is this what you're looking for? You kinda? are, but you want it to all those marshmallows to melt. Okay, okay. so we're almost there. Yeah, almost there. And so this takes a little bit, of, you know, a few yeah, minutes. Just a few minutes, but then and then you just set it aside to cool. And don't walk away. So we want to make right. sure you all can see how it's those bubbling up there. Yep, yep, and then it's yep. all over, and you don't want uh, the marshmallows to, to burn and and, the yeah, and this is and I can tell super duper hot. So with yeah. the kids. You want to kind of maybe not have them help with this part of it for sure. So the marshmallows are starting yeah, to it's melt. All good. And once it, it's all melted, you did, then you take it off the heat. And okay, so it's going to kind of go back and down. And the reason you want to add the whipped cream to, you know, the uh, when it's, once it's cooled is so it doesn't, you know, coagulate. You don't so, want to add it to the hot mixture. So here is our hot mixture. We Correct. let it cool for what, a good half hour? Uh, or yeah, so? until it's room temperature. So here mm -hmm. it is now. It right. kind of goes back down and it gets really dark. 
because this is quite yes. a bit darker than right. this. Right, because okay. that still has some air in it, okay. and it's going to settle down. Okay, so here it is mm -hmm. completely I just did this cool. a little while ago, so. Room temperature. Room all right, temperature. now we take our, our cream. We just take it off the heat, and mm -hmm. then we're going to add uh, all of that in there and just fold it in. Should I put it into here? Uh, or? No, you add the whipped cream. Okay, to it. add the whipped cream to this yeah. part mm -hmm. of it. Okay. And this is another important key. Um, we didn't use any eggs in this, nope. which uh, traditionally there's quite right. a, there's uh -huh. some egg yolk and egg white and all that kind of good stuff. So that makes this easy. Well, and part of that is the eggs add some texture and uh, um, to the to the mousse. Okay? Right. The marshmallows are doing that. Oh, in this I case. like that. Okay. okay. So it does provide a really neat texture to the mousse. And this is when you just kind of fold it. You mm -hmm. we whip that cream, so we don't want to. Right, so fold it in, but you do want it to be completely mixed. Okay. And then, you know, you want some pretty dessert dishes or custard cups or whatever you happen to have. Sometimes mousse looks good in like a champagne glass. Oh, yeah. Have you ever done that yeah. before? That's really nice, too. Um, what I like about this, too, is you, it is super duper rich, so a little dab is mm -hmm. going to do you. Right. Mm -hmm. Be really nice with some fresh summer berries. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets their own, which is extra special. And we didn't need to use a gelatin or eggs nope. or anything mm -hmm. to yep. get, you can already see the consistency. Right. There you go. All right, so here you goes. Some in there, you do you need to it. even grease or do anything to these no, ramekins? No. Okay. Because they're not uh, going in the oven. Okay. You're just putting them in the refrigerator. And that little bit, let me tell you, a couple of bites of mousse. Right. And, and uh, when you're finished, then we, I pulled some out of the refrigerator here. You could then top it off with um, so some more whipped cream. So it really does something to touch it. It yeah. really kind of yeah. sets up. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's really, uh, if you actually take a little spoon of that, you'll see how. I would be happy to. Uh, nice <laughs> end. I'm all about the inside is. Mousse. You'll see Ooh. that the texture is very silky smooth. Kind of velvety. And wonderful, yes. And so easy. Four mm -hmm. ingredients. It's almost like a really rich pudding. Mm. And I, I think the marshmallow makes it kind of really different and mm. unique. Wow, is that Isn't good? Isn't that good? Mm, I may have to go in for yeah. another bite. Chocolate milk in mm. there, so that, that kind of adds some of that great chocolate flavor to it as really, well. Really, really yummy. Okay, so Karen's peach pie tart recipe and this chocolate mousse recipe, you can get on our website, mm -hmm. box11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes. It'll be right there along with that uh, chicken Swiss casserole bake I did earlier and um, that wonderful breakfast recipe or dinner. You can use, if you're going to do breakfast for dinner, all those recipes are on our website. If you do want to find the um, Taste of Summer recipes? Uh, uh, Dairy Days of Summer okay. that has the peach pie tart in there. That's at eatwisconsincheese.com. Uh, and then this chocolate mousse one isn't part of that collection, but it's also part of our total collection of recipes on eatwisconsincheese.com, and you'll find it right, All right. there. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Always great to see All you, right, Karen. You i got to dive in and have another bite of this. We'll be right back. Stay with us.